Hey there, it's Allie Hartung with Coldwell Banker Realty. Today I wanted to talk about the inspection process. Um, I'm sure in the last few years you've heard of a lot of people that have forgotten the inspection completely just to get their offer accepted. Um, that's tricky. <laughs> I've not had anybody do that, thankfully. That would make me nervous. Um, but a question I get a lot, usually it's after the fact, um, say the appraiser finds something that the inspector didn't mention. Um, you know, we're all human beings and we make mistakes, but also we have different opinions on what is important and what's a big deal and what's not. Um, there's definitely standards there, but there's, you know, again, we all have a different idea of what's super important and what's an easy fix. Um, so a lot of times I hear inspectors getting a bad rap for missing something, but <laughs> consider that they are looking at an entire house um, from top to bottom in like two or three hours. Um, they're expected to have the expertise of a roofer, a plumber, an engineer, um, an electrician, and so many other roles. That's just impossible. Um, the role of the home inspector is just, you know, to know the code and th they've done a ton of inspections. They know what they're looking for um, and they're doing the best they can to give you as much information about your house as they can within two or three hours. Um, some things to think about. Um, Again, like I mentioned, they do look for things being up to code for current conditions. Um, but something to keep in mind is, you know, the home was built in the 50s or was born in, or born, built in 1920. Um, so they might mention things not being to code, but that doesn't mean that the way it is now is bad, if that makes sense. They're just letting you know that, you know, it's not up to code currently. So if you wanted it to be, this is what needs to be done. Um, something else that I mentioned, uh, especially in older homes, you know, I work in Clintonville and there's a lot of other places like German Village, Bexley, um, we have older homes and so they were made with plaster <laughs> and so there's going to be cracks, um, hopefully minor, um, but you will see cracks in a lot of the plaster around just like thin little lines. Um, I know for my house, I've had the exact same crack since I moved in 14 years ago. Um, I know as a buyer, you have no way of knowing how long the seller has been staring at that same crack, but um, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. These homes are 70 to 100 years old. Um, there's going to be minor cracks, um, but an inspector and an appraiser are going to point out to you anything they think is um, suspect and suggest that you get an engineer in there, a structural engineer, to give their assessment of what they're seeing. Um, that being said, if you're buying a home that is really tall or really old, or when you're viewing it, you're like, Ooh, I'm a little nervous about this. Um, there are several inspectors that are also structural engineers. So, you know, you can just get more bang for your buck. It does cost a little bit more, but that way you've already got a structural engineer in there poking around. Um, something else to consider is a lot of roofers do not get on the, or roofers, a lot of inspectors do not get on the roof. Um, they will peek up there from their ladder or use binoculars. Sometimes they don't get on no matter what. Um, but a lot of times it's because of the season. Um, it's been rainy, it's been icy, it's been snowy. Um, they're not going to put themselves in danger by actually physically going on the roof. Um, they'll do the best that they can and give you an assessment based on what they can see from where they can see it from. Other things that the inspector does, um, they will look at the foundation, um, make sure everything looks good. Again, they might recommend that you have a structural engineer look at something if something catches their eye. Um, additionally, you may choose to get a radon test. Usually that's not gonna be the inspector doing that, or that'll be somebody else. So you'll need to um, schedule that into your inspection period that you've agreed to with the seller. And then last, you'll do a pest inspection. A lot of times home inspectors do do pest inspections. So just make sure if that's something that's important to you that you're asking if they do it or if they can recommend somebody that can, um, and then they can knock that out for you. But that is really important. Um, we wanna make sure that if you do have if the house does have pests, that there's a plan put in place um, to remedy that before closing.